Meantime, China's foreign minister warns conflict could, quote, break out at any moment on the Korean peninsula as North Korea seems ready to carry out another nuclear test this weekend. President Trump with a message of his own tweeting, I have great confidence that China will properly deal with North Korea. If they are unable to do so, the U.S. with its allies will USA. Let's bring in John Hanna. He's senior counselor at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, former national security advisor to Vice President Cheney, and former advisor to Secretary of State Warren Christopher. As you well know, John, uh, North Korea has been carrying out nuclear tests since its first one in 2006, the second term of the Bush 43 administration. What makes this potential test so much more nerve-wracking? Well, I think it's just how far uh, the North Koreans have gotten now in the development of their nuclear program, John. They are getting very close with each test to perfecting the miniaturization of a nuclear warhead that is going to be able to fit on an intercontinental ballistic missile that will be capable of launching a nuclear strike on major American cities. Uh, we're per perilously close. We're basically at zero hour almost. And so if they, if they should go ahead and carry one out, uh, if you were advising the president, would you suggest some kind of military response? Well, I, th I think we're right now, John, engaged in the world's most dangerous game of, of chicken. Uh, the, the stakes are obviously enormous, including all-out war on the, on the Korean Peninsula that would threaten hundreds of thousands of lives. I don't think we're actually there yet, because a week ago in Mar-a-Lago, I do have a sense that the president, at least, from both his words and his body language, believes he may be at an inflection point, that he may finally be able to convince the Chinese, after three predecessors have failed, to finally step up and use the enormous leverage they have to bring this North Korean regime to heel. He has been saying uh, very positive things about President Xi. What, what kinds of influence can they wield over North Korea? Well, they've clearly got military, political influence, but most of all, they, they control that economy. If they want to collapse the North Korean economy, the Chinese could do it. Instead, what we've seen is that in the last quarter, North Korean Chinese economic exchanges have gone up more than 30%. Now, the president says the Chinese, uh, Chinese have finally begun to cut off North Korean coal. They're not purchasing it anymore. Now there's talk that China may cut off its delivery of oil to North Korea. This could really cripple that regime and put its survival at stake. And if Kim does care about anything, it is the survival of his regime and his family criminal, criminal enterprise in Pyongyang. To Afghanistan quickly and the use of that massive bomb, the largest non-nuclear bomb in our arsenal, a little over 24 hours ago. Besides killing, as we understand it, maybe three dozen Taliban, what's the message? Well, the message to all of our enemies, whether intended or not, is that the United States has once got a, a again got a president who is prepared to give our military the full authority they need to destroy our enemies on the battlefield. And whatever brave face the dictators in North Korea, Iran, Syria, Russia, China may put on it, they cannot help but be awed by the overwhelming firepower the American military is able to put on a target when it needs to solve a big problem. And, and there could be another one of these used any day now if the mil military deems it necessary. Unfortunately, that's, that's the message the North Koreans and the Chinese have got to take here, John. John Hanna, Senior Counselor at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Thanks for your insights. Thank you, John. Well, President Trump.